commentary. And this is a video overview of this light. And this light, as you can see, is uh, a very, very small uh, single CR2 flashlight. It is the Aeon Mark III. And this is the production version of the Aeon Mark III. As you can see behind this light, there are our packages. And these are the packages that the lights will come to you in. So Enrique sent me two for review. Um, <clears throat> this one is aluminum, and it's anodized, uh, as you can see. A very nice blue color. I like the blue one. And in the package, you, know, you open these up. These are slide boxes. You open up the slide box, and the inside is a little uh, pouch. You pull out the pouch, and there is the titanium one. Uh, so these these lights are a little different than the lights, uh, the light, the production light that I had. And I'll go th go through the differences quickly. So uh, originally, the production light had a tail uh, clicky tail cap, which this one does as well. But the the clicky was really sort of soft and kind of gushy. This one has a much better feedback uh, than the original does. So there's a low. There's medium, and there's high. High is 200 lumens. Low, I think, is around 5 lumens. And I think medium is around 40 lumens. The other difference between this light and the production light is that this light has a pre-attached pocket clip. And this pocket clip is awesome. It is super, super sturdy. And like the Sebenza clip, it has sort of a double dip feature which means that it's a little bit more difficult to have it fall off in your pocket. The other thing is, of course, it acts as an anti-roll device. The light can tail stand, and it's got a really, really good optic in it, uh, or a really good reflector in it. It's not an optic. But uh, as you can see, the, the beam pattern is very, 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 very nice. Uh, there's a, a good hot spot, and then there's a really nice, well-defined hotspot, and then uh, some decent spill to it, so you get uh, a really, really nice beam pattern. Overall, I find the light to be uh, very good. A couple of other things that were improvements over the original prototype. These edges right here have been uh, probably deburred of some, some kind. They're nowhere near as sharp, and so the overall package is just better in the pocket, and it's better in the hand. Um, I really like these lights. They are fantastic. Uh, they're definitely better than the Mark II, which is kind of hard for me to say because I was one of the people that asked Enrique to make the Mark II. So I basically said, here's what I would want that light to be. And after some talking, he eventually agreed and produced the Mark II, and it was really, really good. But this light, man, this light is great. So uh, I think the aluminum is 295. Let me make sure. I think the aluminum is 295, and I think this is. 495, 395, I forget the prices. Um, but Enrique has a couple in stock. Go over to his website, mushan.net. He also has a really awesome little leather sheath from Ashland Leather that goes with it. Uh, and that is a really nice carry package. So when you get a chance, go on over to mushan.net, take a look at the lights. Um, he's producing some in Mokumagane and in Timascus as well. And those are really expensive. I think they start at $1,000. But if you just need a small everyday carry light and you want something nicer than what you can get from a production company, this is definitely the way to go.